Aventine Hall Memorial Day 2021. We had a super productive but uh, unsexy day. I will walk you through it. It's been a while since we made a post, but we've been having a whole bunch of these super productive, unsexy days. So there's not a lot of really cool stuff to show. Uh, this was all dirt and weeds. We had a whole bunch of wisteria vine that had overgrown everything. I pureed this uh, with the um, with the machine that does that. I forget the call. Name of it. We put some grass seed there a few weeks ago. We've now done all of this all out over here. Uh, that is going to the dump. That is a pile of, of brush. Um, there was a stump there that I removed today. There's a stump here that I'm almost done with. And then it's hard to see, but there's a pile of dirt right there. And that dirt's going to go back in that hole. I could do this easier, but um, I don't go to the gym. I try to do everything the hard way. So I've been doing this with an ax. Just beating the heck out of it. It's a lot of work. Uh, let's see. We have um, still have a pile of wood to clean up there. Um, all, we have all of the wisteria vines are cleared out all the way to about here. Uh, we burned all of it up last year with all this. All the plastic that you see now is going to go back there because I don't know, I don't know if you can see it, but it is a jungle back there. Just an absolute vine nest. So that is this summer's project. We're going to burn all this stuff up. And then uh, we planted, there's a little bush there, there's a little bush there, there's a little bush there, there's a little bush over here somewhere, I forget, and then there's one there. So we've got a few things over there on the fence line. We'll have grass here soon, um, grass all the way back through here. That'll be the next few a few weeks. I'll have another unsexy but productive day where I kind of puree all, all this stuff and loosen up all the soil, plant some seed. Uh, still got a stump there to remove, and this around like a big, rock pile we cleared out all back here so this is all also really viney jungly stuff um, that we would like to use so we're gonna burn that stuff up and put a plastic all over it this summer but in the meantime we've started to clear it out so that's a brush pile that's a brush pile there's a whole bunch back there that you can't quite see so we've got this area cleaned we still have all of this stuff to clean out so this is more of a um, this is just an invasive, uh, I forget the name of these <laughs> these trees. They are invasive, our, our arborists call them trash trees. So we're gonna clear out a whole, whole bunch of these, leave a, a few of them, do something here with the ground. Not really sure what, I don't know if we'll just do like an ivy or like a ground cover or whatever, or if we we'll actually plant grass. Then I have all of this to do, you know, again, it's just, it is just a jungle in there. Um, the property line goes all the way down that hill. There's a park down there in downtown Luray um, where the Hawksbill creek runs through there and there's like a big hill uh and as you can see if i walk in there i mean it's just it's complete mayhem so so we own all this we'd like to clear it out and make it a bit more usable maybe make some sort of human uh trail that we can get down to the park a little easier um this big tree might might stay but it needs to get cleaned up that cedar is going and that trash tree is going this bunch of trees is going probably in the next year we got to we get some budget to do that. The, the power line here, you can't see it. At least it's hard to see. That right there is a power line. The power right now runs overhead over to the house. And we're going to be burying it and rerouting it right up through there. So I have to dig a huge, um, I think it's got to be two, two feet deep and 18 inches wide. Or it might be two feet wide and two and a half feet deep. It's going to be murder. I'm going to do it by hand. And it's going to be a great workout. So we also uh, get you up here. We also did weed and feed. Weed and feed is a hairy homeowner's version of what the lawn of people do. If you get a uh, lawn care service where they remove the the weeds, weed and feed is a uh, kills the um, kills the big stuff like this, and it lets grass grow like that. So we hit the whole yard with weed and feed yesterday, and then we um, removed a bunch of cactuses around this rock formation put some some uh grass seed down did the same thing here there used to be a bunch of bushes that were kind of half dead they didn't look too too great so i pureed all this put down some uh grass seed some of it didn't take so you'll see a few weeds in there the weeds will be gone soon we got to remove the um the extra roofing uh, so we'll be doing that in the next few weeks get that out of the way so we can clear that out again and then we did a few other things down there with some grass and just trying to clean up the yard. This is gonna be like a mulch bed over here. 
Uh, and then I got to take out this limb here because it's, it's starting to lean over and getting near the house again. And then that guy is starting to grow. We don't want that to grow again because it was all wrapped up power lines. So, um, yeah, I mean, not a lot going on with the house itself. Just trying to clean up the yard for the spring, kind of get everything going in the right direction before everything takes over like the wisteria has tried to do. So um, that's the update for Memorial Day 2021. We're still trying to get contractors in for the electric. The HVAC guys have been very patient waiting on us for, to find an electrician that will help us run some lines um, to get the HVAC going. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.